Welcome to Mikey's Football World with me, Mikey D. And this is Mikey's Football World. Let's get into it. It's been a minute since I last did a video on this football channel. Uh, I've been busy, real busy, work, working stuff out, doing, doing certain things with my life. But I'm back on the channel now. I'm back here doing another video. Tonight, West Ham beat Fiorentina in the Europa Conference League final 2-1. And now Declan Rice has lifted the trophy. They're now European champions in a competition. West Ham, well done to West Ham, well done to West Ham. Well played. Seville, who knocked Manchester United out of the competition in the Europa League, beat Roma in the final on penalties. And Roma and, and, and the manager, uh, Jose Mourinho, ex-Manchester United manager Jose Mourinho, he abused the referee in the car park. I think it was disgusting. I think it was vile. He should never have done that. He should never have got involved in that kind of that kind of thing in the, in, in the game. He went into the car park and he, he verbally abused the, the referee. People, were, uh, Roma fans, were throwing chairs and tables at him, at the referee and his wife and his kids as he's trying to get through the airport. I thought it was disgusting. The Roma fans are just terrible. I thought that was out of order. Jose Mourinho didn't show a good example by doing what he did. He started it all off and, and uh, look how it ended and uh, now the referees had to fear for his life at the airport. So let's get into it. Manchester City have won the treble. They've already won the Premier League trophy, beating Arsenal to the, to the crown. And now they just beat Manchester United, my team, Manchester United in the final of the FA Cup, 2-1. It was a close game. People thought City were going to shit all over United, but no. Um, United put a fight up, they played well. Played really well in the final. Um, Nelly, Nelly equalised twice, hitting the crossbar once. Um, Manchester United are on for good things that season. They won the Carabao Cup, made it two finals and a third place Champions League position in the league. Manchester United had a good season, a better season than Arsenal. Manchester United have had a better season than Arsenal, guaranteed. What trophies have Arsenal won? All they did was finish in the same, the same possible position as Manchester United, a Champions League place. They didn't win the trophy. They challenged for the title, but they were there 93% of the time, but they didn't win it. It's about winning it. It's about getting over that line. It's about getting over that line and winning the trophy. And Arsenal never won it. Man City are champions again. If they beat Inter Milan in the final next Saturday, um, they, they win the treble. Manchester United did it in 1999. And now Man City got a chance to do it in 2023. Haaland, at the end of the, the FA Cup game, said to all the rest of the players, just one more, just one more. You could hear him saying it and you can see him, you can see him from his mouth. You can mimic what he was saying. He said, um, just one more now, guys, just one more. If Man City win the treble, I don't know what's going to happen. Man United fans will be outraged because Man United did it the hard way. City have had an easy ride to, 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 to every final and every competition. And they've, 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 Haaland scored 52 goals. I mean, Haaland is a freak of nature. Haaland is a freak of nature. He's some player Haaland. And so's De Bruyne. And so's... Look, if you turn, I, I say, well done to you, Manchester City, well done. But in the order, corruption cases involve Manchester City coming up soon. Corruption cases. They could be all built on corruption because they, they've got 150, 115 charges to, 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 to attend and ask about. So if they have won the treble, it could get it could get taken off them yet. It could actually get taken off them because all these titles they won in the last 10, 10 15 years, last like 12 years, it could be built on corruption from 2010 onwards. So um, City might not actually win anything this season if they, they get all the titles taken off them. So I'll have to see what happens there. Eh? Mason Mount could be signed with Manchester United. Man United put a £50 million bid in for Mason Mount. Um, they're going to put a bid in for Harry Kane, I believe. Or if, not, if not Harry Kane, Victor Osserman. So they need a striker, a midfielder, and a striker, and a right back. And um, we've got wingers. Just, uh, another centre back should come into United, I think. Another centre back and a goalkeeper. David De Gea isn't good enough to win as a Premier League. He's not good enough to win the Champions League. He's not good enough to win the Europa. He's not good enough to win any trophy. David De Gea will not win any trophy so Manchester United as long as he stays there. Man United will not win a trophy as him as the number one. We need to get a number one in. We need to get a number one in. I'd go for Martinez, the Argentinian goalkeeper that plays for Aston Villa. I'd, I'd sign Martinez. That's what I'd, I'd sign Martinez. That's what I'd go for. If not in, then Raya. I'd go for Raya as well. Raya or Martinez. Them two goalkeepers are just outstanding. I think they're brilliant goalkeepers, man. It'll definitely boost Man United's chances of winning the Premier League. We could challenge him next season. If we sign a major striker like Harry Kane or, or Luke Tossman and Mason Mal or Declan Rice or Jude Bellingham, we could definitely, definitely be challenging next season for the Premier League, without a doubt. The players are there. Casemiro is there. Martinez is there. Bruno Fernandes is there. Rashford just banged in 30 goals. Man United are, are on, up, on the up. Man United are on, all this in 10 halves first season. Two finals, one trophy, and a third place position, Champions League position in the league. All that in his first season. Who is going to do? Who is going to do next season? He's going to smash it. 
Ten Hag's gonna smash the bolt right out of the water next season. You wait and see what Ten Hag does to this team next season. He's like, watch this, watch this. You wait and see what he does with this team next season, man. He's gonna fucking absolutely obliterate it. <laughs> Anton Ferdinand got recently abused in the TLS and um, Tron tournament over in, Cal over in Carolina. Um, the, the other tournament over there for ex West Ham players, and he got and one of his teammates got racially abused. I think it's disgusting. I think the thing going on with Vinicius Junior, where he got racially abused by the Valencia fans, I thought that was disgusting. I think there's no room for that in football. We don't want that in our game. Fuck off, man. We don't want that in our game. Get out of our game. Kick out of our game. Get it. Kick it out of the game. We don't want that in our game. We don't want that in football. It doesn't belong in football racism. I think it's disgusting, I think it's vile and big up Adam Ferdinand for sticking up for his teammate and saying they're not going to play the rest of the tournament and the, the team finally got kicked out of the tournament after it happened and they're only going to pick, kick out one player, the player that actually did it he said that he said he was going to, he was going to say it but he didn't but why, why would, why would the, the player know that he said it then? and the referee said he never heard it and Adam Ferdinand said why didn't you challenge it? he said because um, I was going to say something to him but um, it didn't seem like it was a good point and he said well I thought you never heard anything so something like that will happen and I think it's disgusting, I think it's vile man, fucking racism with football man, so there's no room for it, there's no room for it in football, get rid of it. Yeah, they're coming right, so the trophy for West Ham, the, the UEFA, UEFA, UEFA Europa League Conference League, it's supposed to be the trophy for West Ham, I've been in Europa League next season, I hope we're definitely going to see United, I hope we get him at United, I hope we get him at United, I think he may, may go to Arsenal though, he may go to Arsenal. Arsenal seem better fit for him, he's close to where he works and everything and they are challenging for titles. So I think he might go to Arsenal, but I want him at United. I want, I want either Dick Q Bellingham, Harry Kane, Victor Osserman, or Declan Rice at United next season. One, of them, one or two of them players will be smashing it next season. We'll be smashing it, guaranteed. We'll see. So yeah, Man City won the treble. They beat United in the, in the FA Cup Final 2-1. Looking to get away with the win. And they, they picked Arsenal to the title. And they're going to beat in Milan in the final in Time, so I, I don't, I don't see how they're not going to trouble now. I don't see how, how it's going to happen now. I don't see how it's going to stop them. I don't, think, I don't think if Man United can't stop them, and Arsenal can't stop them, and Chelsea and Britain and Liverpool and all they can't stop them. Yeah, I don't see Milan doing any, any damage to them in, in the final. I think, I think, I think Milan will get beat in the final. I think, I think, um, I think City will, get, City will beat Milan in the final. I think they'll, they'll overrise them. They'll be like four or five goals. They'll beat them just five one now. You can easily beat in line, two or three goals, three or four goals. It appears that Chief Bellingham will sign for Real Madrid next season. According to, according to Kavir Solohal, he's going to sign for Real Madrid next season. Um, he's going to be at Madrid next season, Chief Bellingham. I wanted him at United, I wanted him in the, at least in the Premier League. Even went to City, I wouldn't have minded, because um, we, we, I wanted him in the Premier League just to watch him play in, in, in this league, in this great league that we, that, we, that, that we run now over in the Premier League England. It's the top league in the country, top, top league in the world. Uh, Premier League is the best league in the world right now, so all the best players going to it. But I, I, don't see why, I don't see why June Brown's picked Real Madrid when Man City just pulverised in 5-1 in the, in the semi-final of the Champions League. But um, yeah, so he's picked Real Madrid. Uh, we will pay for Roger next season, Jude Bellingham. It's going to be a fee of £156 million Euros. Uh, so yeah, he's picked, he's picked round with Jude Bellingham. Lionel Messi will not play for Paris Saint-Germain or in the Premier League next season. He's going to Inter Miami, Dave Beckham's club. He's going to go there next season. He's going to get a big payout to go over there and play football in, in Miami. Inter Miami is going to play for next season. He's going to sign a two or three year deal with something like £26, £28 million. Um, yeah, so he's going to Miami. He's going to Miami. Um, Lana Messi's going to Miami next season in America. I'm sorry to say, but I think the West Ham fans were disgusting tonight. Okay, you've won the title and you've done well on that. And well, good, good points to, to Declan Rice and Bruno's to the fans trying to calm them down. But the way they throw things onto the pitch and hit players with, with items, with, with, with missiles, I think it was disgusting. I thought that's not the way to represent England as, as, as a team, as fans, going over to a foreign country and, and practically abuse, practically, practically assaulting players right, and throwing things onto the pitch. And one of the players cut back his head, he got a massive big gash back of his head where, where a cigarette vape machine was thrown, it hits him back of the head and it caught back his head open. I thought that was, that was disgraceful. You can't go around acting like that as fans. That's not the way to be. That's, you won the you won the title. Why do you need to go doing things like that? You, you're, you're always going to win it. But like, there's no there was no need to throw things onto the pitch. I thought I was disgraceful and, I, and I'm disgraced to be English. I thought I was out of order, man. I thought I was just bang out of order. You don't need to do things like that. But well, you won the title, 
So why would you why would you need to go on doing that before, before before you won the title and, and dim, diminishing any kind of celebrative thing of like winning a title when when that shot that card's over it now shot's over it. I thought it was disgraceful. Shane Jesse, the bidder of Manchester United Football Club, has given the Glazers until Friday to accept his 6.5 million billion bid um, to sign Manchester to, to, to buy Manchester United Football Club. He's given until Friday. He doesn't know tomorrow Friday. He's, he's walking away from the deal. He's in the deal on the table, but he's walking away. No more discussions will be will be had after Friday. This is the last chance saloon for for Glazers to sell the club to treat the team, the Qatari, uh, and if they don't sell the club by Friday. He's away. He's he's off. Price tag for Victor Osimhen, the Napoli forward, who's just won a get it all with, with Napoli. For Man United, has been lowered. The price has been lowered by 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 Napoli. Will now accept an 120, 120 million euro bid for star striker Victor Osimhen, according to today's Gazeta Delio Sport. Osimhen is among the names Man United are considering to fill in the striker gap since the departure of Cristiano Ronaldo last year. Previously, it has been reported Napoli would only accept a bid of 150 million pounds. £129 million and more than the Nigerian forward. The 24 year old said earlier this season it would be a dream to play in the Premier League. He has scored 31 goals for 39 games all competition for Napoli this season. So he had devoted the bid from 130, euro, 130, 130 million euros to 120 million euros. £103 million, pounds, basically. That's what they pay for him if they want to get him. It's either Kane or Osman, it's one of the other. It's one of the other. It's Kane or Osman. It's going, it's going to be one of them two strikers we're going to sign. Guaranteed this summer. My United former defender Timothy Fosu Menza is wanted by Torino. Torino trying to sign Fosu Menza. They're trying to sign him from from Man United, ex Man United football player Fosu Menza. Torino trying, trying to sign him. <laughs> Messi to go to America into Miami. He snubbed Saudi Arabia. He snubbed Barcelona. Go back to Barcelona. He snubbed. Saudi Arabia to get a big payday and he's going to enter Miami next season on a two year deal, three year deal. He's going to be worth 26 to 28 million pounds and he's going to be signing for Inter Miami. The likes of George Best and Pele went there over in America, made it big in America. So did Beckham, so the likes of Robin, so the likes of Michael Barak and uh, other players that are playing, Frank Lampard, Steven Gerrard, they all went to over play in America uh, before the end of their careers. But I think, um, uh, in, uh, Lionel Messi will be joining Inter Miami next season. Moussa Dembele is a free agent, according to Sky Sports. Moussa Dembele has left Lyon and is available this summer on a free transfer. Dembele began his career at Fulham, Premier League, and sc scored 19 goals in 64 matches before joining Celtic in 2016. So, Moussa Dembele is a free agent. Maybe United could look at him, maybe United could look at Moussa Dembele. He could do a job at United. He's a winger, but. The more players we get, the better. I think the, the door depth in the squad, the better. My United can sign Moussa Dembele in the season, it could be. Jude Bellingham has agreed to terms with Real Madrid. He's agreed to terms with Real Madrid to sign for Real Madrid next season. He's not, the no, no, deal's not been done yet, according to Carver Soho, but um, they've agreed to terms, Jude Bellingham and Real Madrid. <laughs> Former top and striker, Sergei Rubov, has been appointed as Ukraine's new head coach. Ukraine have had a bad thing going on with the war and everything, not going to get into that, I'm not going to get into anything to do with that, but I'm just saying, basically he's, he's become the new head coach, Sergei Robov has become the, the new uh, Ukrainian head coach. Leipzig have came in and started talks with Manchester United over Anthony Alanga. RB Leipzig have held talks with Manchester United over signing Anthony Alanga according to Sky Sports in Germany. Man United won between 12.89 and 17.19 million to the forward. The 21 year old can leave the NFC this summer. So Langer might want to have the right thing. Former Manchester United defender Wes Brown has declared bankruptcy. Wes Brown went bankrupt last year after after failing businesses and failed. Um, he lost a lot of money doing that. Um, basically he's formed bankruptcy, he's bankrupt now, he's not got a penalty to his name and he's far from bankruptcy. And Wes Brown was ex-Manchester United defender winning the trouble Manchester United. Also got what's that manager? Andrzej Poskolugu has been appointed as, as Tottenham's new head coach. Now Poskolugu will become new, new Tottenham head coach, signing a four-year deal to, to, till 2029, 2028-29. Uh, he'll be the new Tottenham head coach at Spurs next season. Uh, I think he'll do well for Spurs. Um, whether he keeps the likes of Harry Kane and Son and players like that in the team, because he might lose them to Manchester United this summer or to Real Madrid this summer. I think if, if Roger just signed in Bellingham, I think United get Kane.
May not get a hurricane. Roger hindered the fact they could need hurricane next season. Real Madrid needs a striker now. They could do what Karen Benzema did. And they're looking at Hurricane, Victor Simon to come into the club. If my United don't get there first, we'll see what happens if, if uh, Hurricane signs for Real Madrid next season. I hope he doesn't, I hope he stays in Britain, goes to Manchester United and wins trophies with my United. Newcastle's arrival Manchester United for defender, Napoli defender Kim. Um, my United trying to sign Kim, the defender for Napoli. Uh, Newcastle trying to rival it, trying to put a bid in. We'll see what happens between that defender and my United or Newcastle. My United's last six games, one note defeat to West Ham, two no defeat of two no win over Wolves, Old Trafford, then went to Bournemouth one one nil, then at Old Trafford four one against Chelsea, then two one against Fulham at Old Trafford, and then two one defeat to Man City in the in, in the in Wembley in the FA Cup final. Then my United's last six games. Who will United sign next season? Who will Rounded sign? Who will players will be saying Premier League will play the Premier League? We'll see, we'll find out what happens. It's Mikey D for Mike's Football World. Sign out. If you're not subscribed, subscribe, but subscribe to the channel. Um, get in the comments below. Uh, find out what's going on in football all around the world and in Europe. Uh, Mikey's Football World. Peace out. I'm out.